Welcome to My Community, the show about people working to create real change in their community. In today's show, using excess food to feed people in need. Creating change for the homeless with the art of theatre. The Planet Unearth Boys hit the streets to see just how random we are with our kindness. And one woman's ability to always look on the bright side, even in the face of adversity. Every year, tons of good food ends up in landfill. One Sydney organisation has found a unique way to stop food wastage as well as feeding the needy. The way that Us Harvest makes a change in the community daily is by saving and rescuing surplus food that would otherwise go to landfill and delivers that food to over 500 organisations that service vulnerable and marginalised Australians. My name is Rani Khan and I'm the founder and CEO of Us Harvest. The reason I started Oz Harvest was because I had been in the hospitality industry for 20 years. I kept putting on amazing events with an extraordinary amount of food. And eight, nine years ago, I, I reached a point in my life that I wanted to make a significant difference and wondered what my purpose in life was. And I realized that actually connecting good food, which I knew was there, with perhaps giving it to people in need would be a good thing. And it turns out that it was. And that's really been the genesis of Us Harvest. As a producer, it's very hard if we have any leftover food or we overproduce to get it straight to the people that need it, yeah. like directly. So Oz Harvest, I mean, what they're doing is amazing because they've now they've got a network where they pick up, deliver, and what better way to build the community around that. Each week, there's, you know, obviously there's stuff left over. We just can't sell all of it. Uh, and it's too good to go to waste, so we give off a call on Friday afternoon and they turn up duly and we've loaded all the stuff like it's here into the back of a truck and they take it away for us. We, we deliver all sorts of fruit and veg, so we're left over with like smoothie bananas, all sorts of leafy things, uh, stuff that, you know, we just won't last till next week. We don't want to give it to our customers next week because, of, you know, they want fresh stuff, but it's still too good to go to waste. Since inception, Oz Harvest has grown enormously. We started off just in Sydney. We are now in Newcastle, in Adelaide, in Brisbane, and we have just, just, just opened in Melbourne. So we service over 510 different charitable organisations. We save over 400,000 meals per month, and that equates to having delivered over 17 million meals since we started Us Harvest saving over six million kilos of good food from going to landfill. So we're growing all the time. We have 19 vehicles now, rescuing food, refrigerated, picking up good food from over 2,000 food donors and delivering it to people in need. Oh, it's absolutely vital work. I mean, it is a service that is required in the community. A lot of people don't realize that there are people in Australia down the next suburb who don't have enough food. Uh, I think we sort of take it for granted being in Australia, but there are lots of communities, little pockets within our society that require food. They don't have food on a regular basis and Oz Harvest provides that essential service. Sue Jones, the Newtown Community Care Centre. We provide meals, uh, community care, pastoral services, uh, counselling, um, just general for the community, how we, maybe we can help the community, but mainly it's a meeting place for the community to come and have a meal and feel free to talk to somebody if they need to. Oz Harvest would supply 90% of our um, donations. We don't get any government grants, we rely on donations. And if it wasn't for Oz Harvest, we would be really struggling. We would probably not be here. All the lunch we got today was everything donated by Oz Harvest over the last two days. We do rely on donations of money or uh, food, especially from the Oz Harvest. They do supply us with pretty much everything that we need food-wise. And anything else, if I'm running short of something that I ring up, if they can help me, then they do. We expand because of need and because we get asked to go somewhere. So the reason we're going to Melbourne right now is because there is nobody rescuing food 
every single day from delis and takeaways and boardrooms and hotels and film shoots and advertising companies. So that's why we're going, because there's good food going to waste and there are people in need. Kalos as a company is very um, philanthropic, so um, it's it's kind of in our in our blood really to, to do these things. But it, it's a great feeling to know that you know when we're, we're we're not wasting food. Any food that we've got is going to going to a good cause, and uh, you know I, th I think personally employees here feel great about that. We donate basically any cereal that we that we produce that's not meant for sale. So if we're trying a new product or something like that, we'll 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 make a batch of it and we'll test it. And, uh, and then if we're not intending that for sale, we'll give it to us harvest. Uh, well, instead of you know, tipping it or skipping it, uh, we give it to Oz Harvest and then we don't have to a, pay for the cost of removal. Uh, but apart from that, like I mean, it's, it's part of a broader policy of reuse and recycling that we adopt. We, you know, we reuse and recycle everything we can. Uh, apart from that, it's just a generally a good thing to do. Oz Harvest could not manage to run our business without volunteers. Volunteers are a crucial part of the everyday running of, of our organisation. They help us in the office, they help us with our drivers, they help us at trade fairs, at markets, they help us at Cooking for a Cause, which is a beautiful event where we engage with corporate volunteering and we cook and provide food for our um, recipients. So every single day we need and use volunteers and we are a magnet for magnificent people. Volunteers are the heart of it. If without volunteers, we just we would be really struggling even worse. Volunteers for Oz Harvest, they're just like gold. We literally would not be able to function without them. Um, we have over 200 active volunteers in our business which help us every day. Volunteers, I mean, they give their, the greatest thing they've got, which is their time. I volunteer because Oz Harvest does a service which my heart really is in. The service to people, the provision of an essential necessity for life, food, which then allows these people to live a healthier life and also in terms of the communities that Oz Harvest helps, it allows them the funding to do other things like books, education, uh, a whole lot of other range. So it's not just about the food. All the food is the, the front in which we provide assistance. It allows that community and that individual to do a lot more better in life. Every single day, Oz Harvest gets calls or requests or emails from countries around the world. Our latest have been Dubai, India, Cambodia, Vietnam, Singapore, South Africa. So we, our, our policy is to share our model and teach anyone who wants to learn how to rescue food so that they too can make a difference in their country. Yeah, look, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate to say, you know, to any, any business that, you know, this is a, it, easily a winner for both, both parties, both for Oz Harvest and the, and the people who get the food and for the business who does it. It's, you know, it's easy. On my journey, since I started Oz Harvest, there is one thing I have learned. First of all, that making a difference is about the most rewarding thing that anybody can do for themselves, not to mention the ripple effect of what it does out in the community. So my message to every single person is find a way to go out and make a difference. It doesn't matter if it's spending an hour a week, an hour a month, but do something for somebody else because what it gives you is enormous and then what it does out in the community is immeasurable.